we doing guys? So I'm here with Billy Grant from Be Sausage and he's going to give us his thoughts on the game today. So, uh, for us, Brentford, I mean we come up here, we knew we were going to be playing football, we knew Leeds would be playing football. Personally I thought if you're a neutral, great game, it's a great game anyway. Great game of football, battling toe to toe, bash, bash, bash. Brentford going at you, Leeds coming at you, you know, we were going down the wings, we were taking you on. We had a great first half, I thought. You know, um, we were a bit worried because Ollie Watkins was injured on Tuesday, so we weren't sure he's going to be in the team today, but he was back as well. Um, ben Rama was uh, suspended on Tuesday, but we put him on the bench today. We put Canos, who has not been great this season, it has to be said. So we were a little bit nervous when we saw him on the team. Also, a few little other changes. We had, um, we had um, Daniels, who's our reserve keeper, who was in today, because Bentley, our first team keeper has been making a couple of mistakes recently and we kept him in. And we had Odd Baju, who was our, um, what was it, playoff. He was in the playoff team that we had when we first came up to this division. And then Hull bought him. He got injured for two seasons. We've not seen him since. He's come back to Brentford. You know, it was like a sort of kind of, let me just come down and play for you. And he's been out for a bit. All of a sudden, bang, he turned up at Arsenal. We played him against Arsenal, his first game for two years or something. And then we came on for a few minutes against Birmingham. And then he's turned up today full game playing the other position he normally plays left back he's actually a right back and to be fair they must think there must be something there with the other body. he's a great player when he's on you know on his game so the fact they brought him back four leads at Leeds playing left back you know and he, he didn't have too bad a game so our first half we played played well you know uh, second on, like I said, you're not going to talk about the penalty because I know Leeds are fans not happy with the referee and all, all sorts. But listen, we got the penalty, we scored the penalty. And, you know, when you do these things, you normally expect to see the game out with five minutes to go. To be fair, Leeds, they threw the kitchen sink at us and uh, you got us to the Achilles heel. Um, Saeed Benrama, he came on and he... He fouled your play, pushed him over. He didn't need to do that. Gave him a free kick in a stupid position. Lofted the ball in the box. And Pontus Janssen, who's great centre-back, goal-scoring centre-back. Always got to be careful of him. I think he scored him against us a couple of seasons ago at, at Griffin Park, I think. But anyway, he, uh, in there, the, the box, that is our Achilles heel. You know, Burnham did exactly the same thing on Tuesday night. Lofted the ball at the back of the box, bang, in the back of the net. And it always seems to be a problem with us. You know, we could play the ball in the net. You saw our centre-backs, two 20-year-old centre-backs, Chris Meppham, who was in our B team a year ago, and Conso, who signed from Charlton. You've seen the way that they play. Take the ball and they're not... They ain't got no problems taking it and taking it out from the defence, playing it up and then playing the ball out to whoever. Um, but loft the ball into the centre and that's a problem for us. We're just making these silly mistakes and we've made probably about seven silly mistakes this season. Our goalkeeper Bentley's made five of them. You know, he, he put his hand up and say, oh, you know, when you get the ball and you push it into the back of your own net, that is a mistake, <laughs> right? You know, that, that 100% is a mistake. You know, when you run out of the area and then you make a player head it over to your head and then a phobie puts it in the back of the empty net, that's a mistake. So we've made about, he's made about five of those mistakes and we've had a couple of others. If we hadn't made those mistakes, we would be right up there with Leeds United. So we've got to cut out these mistakes but we realise we've only got a young team. Our team average age is about 23 or something ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and uh, they're going to make mistakes and the pressure's on, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be on. So it's a 46 game season. We're still up there. It's October. We're having fun. We're having a laugh. We've come up here. It wasn't loads of us, but the ones who are up here enjoyed ourselves. We live in London. You know, there's about, you know, 27,000 teams in London and we're the smallest one of them. So we're here. You know, Leeds have only got one team. So, you know, it's a difference between us, but we support our team, we've enjoyed our team, we've come up here, we're drinking here in the old Northern Monk, and really great hospitality, Leeds fans great, Bees fans great, we've got a point, we're going back home, we come again next week as they say, come on you Bees. And we meet again in April, but it's going to be a top, top of the table clash, April 23rd or whatever it is, it's at Griffin Park. It's in the diary. It's going to be a top of the table clash, whoever wins that day is going to get my automatic promotion. Ooh. So, yeah, Darren, I'm, not, I'm, not saying, Darren. I'm not saying anything, I'm just holding this one down. I'm just enjoying the moment for now. Come any, you any other players who sort of stood out of them, Pontus Janssen, who you thought looked good today? Uh, I mean, again, for, 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 I, don't, I don't know, for Leeds, I mean, we were looking out for our ex players. I mean, Stuart Dallas, I think he had a bit of a. He, he had the pressure on. You know, you know, he's playing in. Was he playing out, out of He's playing like out left position. Back, really. yeah, yeah. Sort, he's played there a few position. times for us. He but, played uh, that position for us a few times and he, and, and, and he did alright but don't forget it was his early days he was a little pup you know we got him from uh, from from uh, uh, Northern Ireland when he was playing for Derry 
Derry City and he came over to us and he was highly, highly rated over there, but it took him a couple of years for him to kind of get to be the super sub, which he was at Brentford. He was pretty much a super sub and we used to bring him on and he scored a couple of wicked free kicks, especially against Fulham. Oh, people always remember that. We still play that back. You know, if you score against Fulham, it's like for you guys scoring against Man United. You know what I'm saying? It is absolutely teething tremendous, as we say. So yeah, we'll always love Dallas for the free kicks he scored against Fulham um, and the goals he scored against Fulham, you know, but listen, Leeds United, I just thought they were, they were, they were good today. They, they were good, but we more than matched them. And we're a bit disappointed because we played Arsenal a couple of weeks ago. We kind of put a B plus side out. We put a lot of our reserves in against Arsenal at Highbury. What's that all about? You know what I'm saying? But we feel that this Leeds game is more expensive, uh, more important. So the fact that we actually turned and, and we didn't first half, especially at Arsenal, we didn't really um, we didn't really perform. You know, we just didn't perform. We embarrassed ourselves really. You know, second half we were better. But today, at least, we came here and we showed what we can do to a certain extent. And I think a lot of Leeds fans that I spoke to, I've got a lot of Leeds chums, a lot of buddies, and they said to us that Brentford are the best team that have come to Ellen Road this season. Definitely. For us, I think it's quite an important thing for us to show that we're not we're not Tim Pop Brentford. We might be small, but you know we don't buy players for lots of money, but we play decent football. So for us to actually go up there and show that we play decent football, we're proud of that. And it's a 46-game season. Let's see what happens in May. Make sure you check out, we'll leave in the link down below, the link to Be Sorted, fantastic, fantastic blog, 